Welcome to my CBSC English teacher. Today let's look at the line by line explanation of the chapter The Interview from Class 12 English. If you're watching my video for the first time, consider subscribing. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. The chapter the interview is written by Christopher Sylvester. Christopher Sylvester has been a freelance journalist and author since the early 1980s. In this chapter, the chapter is divided into two sections. In the first half he is talking about the opinion on interviews by various famous authors and the second part of the chapter is an interview itself. So let's look at part 1. The interview Since its invention a little over 130 years ago the interview has become a common place of journalism so what is an interview an interview is a session where two people or sometimes more than two people also sit and talk to each other one question is the interviewer and the person to whom is asking the question is the interviewee usually the interviewee is a famous personality so the author says that interview has been invented some 130 years ago and today in journalism interview is one of the most important part so there is no journalism without interview so today almost everybody who is literate will have read an interview at some point in their lives so he says that everybody who is literate that is who knows to read and write will have read at least one interview in their lives while from the other point of view Several thousand celebrities have been interviewed over the years some of them repeatedly so he also says that most of the celebrities will have been interviewed at least once in their life and some of them would have been interviewed more than one time so it is hardly surprising that opinions of the interview of its functions methods and merits vary considerably so the author says that interview is everywhere everybody knows about an interview so that people have different views about interview how the fun- how it functions what are the methods in which an interview can be taken and what are the merits or uses of an interview since many people have undergone interview have taken an interview their opinion about an interview also varies Some might make quite extravagant claims for it being in its highest form a source of truth and in its practice an art. So some people make huge claims saying that it is the highest form of truth and when you have an interview or when you conduct an interview you can get the truth from the other person. So interviewing is a form of art. So some people believe that interview itself is a form of art. others usually celebrities who see themselves as its victims so the narrator says that others the celebrities who are actually being interviewed consider themselves to be the victims of these interviews so the celebrities feel that they are being injured or harmed during these interviews so these celebrities might despise the interview as an unwarranted intrusion into their lives or feel that it somehow diminishes them just as in some primitive cultures it is believed that if one takes a photographic portrait of somebody then one is stealing that person's soul So most of these celebrities might despise the interview. Despise means hate. They don't like to be interviewed at all because they think that it is an unwarranted intrusion into their life. What is unwarranted means not justified. They don't want people to intrude into their lives or look into their lives or ask personal questions at all. They feel that it somehow diminishes them. Diminishes means makes them feel inferior. And in some primitive cultures that is in some cultures what is it people believe that if you take a photo of somebody then you are actually stealing the soul of a person so when these celebrities are photographed 
they don't like to be photographed so they feel that their soul is being stolen vs naipaul feels that some people are wounded by interviews and lose a part of themselves so vs naipaul is a famous british writer from trinidad and tobago he has won the nobel prize for literature and also the booker prize too so he feels that some people are really wounded by interviews they don't like to be interviewed and they feel that they are lost louis carroll the creator of alice in wonderland was said to have had a just horror of the interviewer and he never consented to be interviewed so this writer louis carroll who wrote alice in wonderland had a very bad experience during an interview so he never agreed to be interviewed at all after that he does not like interviews after the bad experience that he had once it was his horror of being lionized which made him thus repel would be acquaintances interviewers and the persistent petitioners for his autograph so it was his horror of being lionized what is lionized lionized is getting too much of public attention so he did not like that and this made him repel from his acquaintances people whom he knew and the interviewers and the pe persistent petitioners the people who continuously came in towards him for getting his autograph or signature and he would afterwards relate the stories of his success in silencing all such people with much satisfaction and amusement so louis carroll did not like to get so much of public attention and he would have to run away from all these people and later when he was alone he would tell all these stories to his friends and relatives about how he was able to silence all these people and get away from them Rudyard Kipling expressed an even more condemnatory attitude towards the interviewer. So Rudyard Kipling, a journalist who is the author of The Jungle Book, also expressed a condemnatory attitude towards the interviewer. What is condemnatory attitude? So it is a disapproval that means he does not like to sit and give an interview. So he also expressed his disapproval towards an interviewer. His wife Caroline writes in her diary for 14 October 1892 that their day was wrecked by two reporters from Boston. So Rudyard Kipling's wife wrote in her diary on October 14th that two reporters from Boston had come and damaged their day. So the day was not happy because they had to face a very bad interview. She reports her husband as saying to the reporters So Rudyard Kipling told the reporters why do i refuse to be interviewed because it is immoral so he told the interviewers that he does not like to be interviewed because it is immoral he feels that an interview is unethical or does not conform to certain standards so he despises an interview it is a crime just as much of a crime as an offense against any person so he feels that interview is a crime just like any other crime and as an assault and just as much merits punishment so he feels that any person who will be interviewed or who comes to take an interview deserves punishment it is cowardly and vile no respectable man would ask it much less give it So he feels that giving an interview or taking an interview itself is cowardly and vile vile means totally unpleasant so he says that any person with self respect would not give an interview and would not agree to be interviewed at all So yet Kipling himself had perpetrated such an assault on Mark Twain only a few years ago though Kipling himself despised interview but he himself had carried on perpetuated means carried on such an assault on Mark Twain only a few years ago that means he also took an interview of Mark Twain some years ago H.G. Wells in an interview in 1894 referred to the interviewing ordeal but was a fairly frequent interviewee and 40 years later found himself interviewing Joseph Stalin. 
So H.G. Wells also has been interviewed frequently and in 1894 he also referred to the interviewing ordeal that means the struggles or the difficulties that he had undergone during an interview. But 40 years later he himself interviewed Joseph Stalin. Saul Bellow, who has consented to be interviewed on several occasions, nevertheless once described interviewing as being like thumbprints on his windpipe. So Saul Bellow is an American writer who has won the Nobel Prize for Literature as well as the Pulitzer Prize. So he also feels that interview is like choking oneself. He feels that the thumbprints of the interviewer is always there on his windpipe and he feels choked during interviews. Yet despite the drawbacks of the interview, it is a supremely serviceable medium of communication. So the narrator feels that though there are all these kinds of opinions and drawbacks on the interview, it is considered to be the most practical medium for communication. These days, more than at any other time, our most vivid impressions of our contemporaries are through interviews. Dennis Bryan has written. So Dennis Bryan has written about interviews, especially of those of the contemporaries. Contemporaries are people or celebrities or famous people who belong to our own time. So we know more about them. We get more impressions or lively impressions about people through interviews. So he says that interviews are very important mediums of communication. Almost everything of moment reaches us through one man asking questions of another. So we get to know about every truth about a person when one man asks a question to another. That means when the interviewer is questioning the interviewee. Because of this, the interviewer holds a position of unprecedented power and influence. So we all attach a lot of importance to this interviewer because he is the one who is going to ask a lot of sensible questions to the interviewee or the celebrity or the famous person to get a, to get a lot of truth from his mouth. So I hope you like today's video. For more interesting videos, do subscribe to my CBSE English teacher. I'll be doing the next parts of this lesson in my next videos. Like, share and give your valuable comments below. Thank you for watching.